We live in a world of computers. Every day we use computers to find information, communicate, or be entertained. Capstone courses give students a chance to explore ways to use computers to make our lives easier. Let's hear how students describe their capstone course experience. Well, I like to play with toys, and as you can see, I've got a whole uh, arrangement of toys here. I have a little LCD screen, uh, SD card, reader, writer I get to play with, and uh, make all these little toys uh, operate. I think the biggest challenge, and actually part of what I really like about this course, is it's a project course, and it's also a big team course. You learn a lot more about collaboration and working on all those other kind of human issues. It's really enjoyable. It brings together a lot of different elements of the computer science department that we've learned and no tests and you get to do a big project that you have something at the end of the quarter and yeah, a lot of fun. Students use their creativity, knowledge and skill to solve a wide range of problems. Students get hands-on experience taking a project from conception to completion. Here's a look at this year's capstone courses. So what we're looking at here on the, on the top line is the E. coli sequence, the same 82 base pairs from E. coli. The goal of the computational biology capstone is to build a software tool that compares the DNA sequences of closely related bacteria, using concepts the students have learned in both computer science and biology courses. The tool should be easy for microbiologists to use. We're adding 902 pairs from this seeding, which don't have any blast hit with each other. And so from there, we can use that as a validation tool versus, versus other people's algorithms. These leaves are the ones that you're going to input into your guys' programs. In the past decade, the internet has gone from a rarity to an essential tool for work and play. In this capstone, students work together in groups of four to create their own end-to-end -end web system. Great graphics. I decided to do this project because I'm interested in the stock market. I think it's a very exciting time to buy right now. I want to understand how the world goes around. As far as I know, it's money, and the stock market is the best place to learn that. Like once we get this polished up, the advanced search in the commute distance future will have something that's almost ready for turn in, so it'll just be like, every week will be like a stretch to see what cool new feature can we Yeah, get well we did this project because Noah here needs to find an apartment, and when, once he finds one, we've done our job. The OS Capstone offers an in-depth exploration of the Windows operating system. An operating system is the interface between hardware and user, and every computer must have one in order to run other programs. Currently, we're working on um, improving the algorithm for the operating system scheduler, a way to see if we could make it more efficient, such that your system runs faster and overall better. What we're trying to do is add something that's a little more automatic, so that uh, you don't actually have to open a program to um, fix your computer, but it'll do sort of an automatic cleanup. The camera's changed, but your life's coming by my I think I created mine with that camera. During the animation capstone course, students use their accumulated knowledge of the digital pipeline and combine it with their understanding of story design and filmmaking to produce a short animated film. This year, the students chose to locate their story in Mongolia and used animation as a way to represent several poignant moments in innovative ways. I'm the one doing uh, all of our horse animation. Right now, um, I'm setting up a scene where the horse gets startled um, and kind of starts rearing back. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. So right now, I'm working on what is called a temp track, just basically blocking out sound and creating a first uh, temporary track to iterate upon. We have robots, and our robots have geometry. They know where their neighbors are. The robotics capstone course covers key topics in multi-robot systems, distributed algorithms, ad hoc networking, and coordinated motion. The students develop software that can produce complex group behaviors from the interactions of many simple individual robots. It's mimicking how molecules actually work uh, when they form square lattices and crystals, and it's doing this by having two different types of robots, spin-up and spin-down robots, which mimic uh, essentially how the electrons are either spin up or spin down. CSE course, yeah. They all turn blue for a moment, they, they disperse out, and then they all turn red except for one of them, which becomes the head of the snake. The red lights are apples, so when you run into it, you eat the apple, and it makes your snake longer. In the game software course, students work on teams to design and implement software projects. Emphasis is placed on the development process itself rather than on the product. Of course, the products are pretty cool as well.
The theme of the Digital Systems Design Capstone is technology for low-income environments. In this capstone, student groups investigate how technology can be used to address problems in education and agriculture in the developing world by prototyping substantial projects mixing hardware, software, and communication components. <laughs> Students present their final projects using written and oral presentations. This might actually be working, guys. You might actually pass. <laughs> <laughs>